acting like an overdrive for your clean sound psychedelic swirl 70s amp like distortion these are some of the descriptions given on the orange website for their new line of vintage pedals and here they are you see them right here i would say that the descriptions are highly accurate what you have here are three exceedingly simple but great sounding really cool pedals and they've got a distinctly kind of orange stamp to the sonics what do I mean by that? Well, the Phaser, which is a recreation of uh, early 70s orange Phaser pedal. I didn't even know they made one, actually, but I guess they did. Uh, this has a like super analog, gushy, warm, wonderful, psychedelic kind of sound to it. I used it on the rhythm guitars with a slower speed. <laughs> I used it on the lead guitar on that track at the beginning with a uh, sort of medium fast setting. <laughs> got an awesome kind of psychedelic swirl to it that's really what it sounds like and it's a great option if you're looking for a vintage phaser kind of sound it's just got a certain kind of je ne sais quoi certain kind of gushy quality to it that is distinctly analog and really cool the sustain this is the one they described as uh, being like an overdrive for your clean sound which i like because that's kind of how i describe compression i like to pump up my clean sound with compressors and make my cleans feel more like they're overdriven even when they're basically clean or just getting pushed a little bit into breakup and that's what this thing does really well it's got uh i would say a kind of like almost dynacomp like qualities but without having the high end loss of a dynacomp i hear it is retaining the top end when i turn it on the guitar tones still stayed really sparkly and clear you know you basically got a sustain control there which is labeled as depth and a level control. You can definitely boost as well. It's got a ton of output. So if you want to boost with it, you can do that. But it just has that effect of grabbing everything and squishing it down pretty good and then pushing it forward in the mix and making everything feel better to play while retaining your top end, unlike some vintage compressors. Okay, and last but certainly not least, the distortion. This is basically that 70s orange, fat, crunchy. <laughs> Think stoner rock, think, you know, just big and surly, uh, proto metal, you know, rock, not rock with a W. Does that make sense? Can do overdrive like sounds as well with the depth control. That's basically the distortion amount control set low. I would say anywhere uh, from off all the way up to half, you're getting actually like pretty cool, tough but more like an overdrive kind of quality. Once you, the depth is up around half or around one or two o'clock, now it's definitely a distortion, but with that distinctly orange, like, you know, distortion, like their amps have with a big, big fat low end, lots of low mid. And then once the depth gets up past two o'clock, uh, you're turning it up and it's just getting like full on, almost like a fuzz, really. It's got almost some qualities of a big muff with the, the filter set kind of wide open so that it had quite a bit of top end or towards wide open. Maybe a big muff is smoother though. This is a little bit more just a tacky and aggressive. I can't show you every single sound these make uh, in one video because I'm obviously doing three pedals in this video. So this is more like a taste test, but I think you'll get a pretty good idea from this video of you know the basic qualities of these pedals and the sounds that they make and what they're capable of. So let's get on with it. It is the orange vintage line of pedals. Here we go. Alrighty, so I just recorded the first part on this little new wave tune that I came up with, and uh, the pedals are contributing a lot to this sound. So I've just got a clean sound going. It's my PT-15 signature amp from Sir, and uh, here's the sound with no pedals. All right, it's real clean. The compressor is kind of the biggest deal. It's loud and proud, it's not shy, it's compressing, and it's sustaining, and it's boosting as well. So I'm getting a, t a ton more level out of it. It's probably boosting like, and uh, the level control's like only at like 10, 30, or 11 o'clock. So there's a ton of boost available in this pedal. You know, if you want to wake up an anemic kind of clean sound, I, I put, sort of set my amp, you know, like lower gain than I usually do and stuff like that so that I could boost with this. And if you've got kind of a weak clean sound, this will pump it right up and push it forward. And it's got an aggressive, obviously compressed sound, but it's a really cool sound.
And once again, this is with the level at about 11 o'clock or not even 1030 really. And then the depth is up quite high. And the depth is like the amount of compression. You're, you're kicking the crap out of the signal with compression when you turn it all the way up and really squashing. So I'll just vary it a little. Right, you can get a more subtle compression for sure if you bring it down, but I like to turn it up to two o'clock for this part. And this is what's really gonna make those parts, um, you know, pop if you're playing those like kind of. Which is kind of what I was doing, that arpeggiated kind of thing, right? If I were to turn it off. The uh, part can get a little lost in the mix when you're playing these arpeggiated parts. So when you crank up that compression, you know, on a clean, it can really do a great thing to the sound. Now the phaser, let's check it out. So when I turn it on, it's just got a great gushy kind of 70s analog tone. So I just kind of loosely timed it to the song and it sounded good. And I had a delay on that I've always got in line and I can turn it on or off. It's on the way to my cabinet out in the other room in the loop of my fry up power station here and it happened to be timed to the right time for the song. So it just sounded right and I left it. All right, I just cut a primitive, tough, kind of an overdriven rhythm part using the distortion. For this, I've got the level on about half, and I got the depth on about nine o'clock, just cracked open. And it sounded really cool for this, so if I go to the neck pickup. That was the vibe. So it's not just a distortion box. I mean, you can get a nice kind of, uh, you know, tough, fat, low gain drive out of it. And you can hear it's not a screamer or anything like that. It's got a ton of bass, you know, it's got lots of low end. It's got lots of top, it's very full sounding actually. It's full and got just kind of a tough, I guess kind of maybe what I think of when I think of Warren Jams, you know, you turn them up loud and big and fat and gnarly, you know, and it kind of does that, but even at a lower gain setting. So for the next part here, I'm going to start to up the gain and um, try and play some kind of like melody sort of uh, lead parts with it. So let's see what happens. All right, so I just kept the little solo in the song at the beginning of the video, which was really fun. Uh, with nothing on, it sounds like this. All right, and turning on the distortion. It's fuzz at this point. I mean, you can kind of get a muff to sound like this if you crank the filter, you know, open on it so you're getting edgier sounds out of it. And then turning on the phaser, which is running in front, actually, and I got kind of a medium, uh, what do I got the rate at? Let me see. It's on about 130. So it's a medium fast phase.
That was a solo. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it just sounds really cool. It's like a, it's a great. It's it's basically fuzz and uh, almost like a vibe like phase really when you get the rate up this high, and it just kind of makes for cool psychedelic melodies. And there you have it. Thanks for watching my video on the orange vintage pedals. I hope you dug it. You've got the sustain here. That's a killer compressor. You got the distortion, 70s proto metal rock and roll stoner amp like distortion for days, and even overdrive or even fuzz. And you've got the phaser, wonderful, analog, warm, gushy, psychedelia in a box. Check them out further at the link down there in the video description below. Click there, it'll take you to more info about the orange vintage pedals. Please hit subscribe if you haven't hit the little bell beside the subscribe so you get an alert when I put out new videos. I'm Pete Thorne, thanks for watching. See ya.